speak up and speak against violence leave? Will it be more Donald Trump enablers uh, or will they be replaced uh, by more patriots? That That's ultimately up to the voters uh, in November. And I will note that uh, Ashley Babbitt's mother, and this is the woman who tried to jump through the Speaker's Lounge uh, door and was shot and killed by police, uh, her mother attended a vigil for the January 6th defendants outside of jail in Washington that was live stream, and she was live streaming and said that she has spoken with Trump himself on the phone earlier that day and that he talked about setting these guys free when he gets in a message he asked to be passed along to January 6th defendants. Are any of your colleagues concerned that members of Congress would be targeted if these people were put back on the street? And we're already being uh, targeted. And when uh, the threats come in uh, to me and my colleagues, uh, what we're told by the Department of Justice is doing a very good job to try and track these uh, is that, hey, we're being targeted too. So you're seeing that Donald Trump has unleashed uh, and created this environment where the investigators uh, are also being Terrorized, so you know FBI agents and DOJ prosecutors, uh, they're receiving as many death threats uh, as me uh, and my colleagues, and that's just the hell and the chaos uh, that he has brought uh, to our country. And it's really easy to do that when you don't have the firewall within your own party, uh, you know, yeah. to stop you. And so that's why this is all so important, and, and just functionally because we're not helpless here. I have also uh, been working with DOJ to write legislation that would create, you know, a harassment. Uh, crime so that it's not just a high threshold of threats, uh, but that we can protect people as, as much as possible. Uh, Representative Eric Swalwell, thank you very much. Stay safe out there. And up next on the readout, Trump's